Hello. In this tutorial, we are going to learn what recursion is in programming. In future lessons, we are going to learn how to write specific types of recursive methods. Some important facts. A recursive method or function is one that calls itself. For a recursive method to be useful, it should have two things. First, it should have at least one recursive case where the method is called again. And it should also have at least one base case where the method is not called again. Let's imagine that we have a line of school children that we want to count. The teacher asks the student at the end of the line, Blue, how many students are there? Blue could handle this problem iteratively, like with a for loop or a while loop, and go through and count each student individually, and then respond with the total. Instead, Blue decides to handle the problem recursively. The recursive algorithm that he comes up with, count how many, has two parts. The first part is if there is somebody in front of you, you ask them how many people are in their shorter line. Once they answer, you add one to their answer. This is called the recursive case because it ends up calling the algorithm count how many again. On the other hand, if there is no one in front of you, you simply answer one because that is the number of people in your line, one which is yourself. We call this the base case because it does not call the algorithm again. We have to make sure that we always end up at a base case, otherwise we will end up calling the algorithm over and over again, and end up with an infinite loop. Let's try out this algorithm and see how it works. Blue starts by checking, is there someone in front of him? There is, so the first thing he does is ask that person how many people are in their smaller line. The next person, green, looks at the line, sees there's someone in front of them, and asks how many people are in your line. Next, red checks his line, sees there's someone in front of him, and asks that person how many people are in your line. Next, yellow, looks at the line, sees that there's someone in front of him, and then asks that person how many people are in your line. Pink looks at his line and sees there's no one in front of him, so he goes to the base case and simply answers 1. Now that yellow has a response from pink, he can do the second part and add 1 to pink's answer, and he responds 2. Now that red has an answer from yellow, he adds 1 to yellow's number and responds 3. Next, green adds 1 to red's number and responds 4. Finally, blue adds 1 to green's answer and responds 5. Blue gives his answer back to the teacher, now that the algorithm is complete. There are a number of ways we can use recursion. We will look at some more examples in future lessons. To see the next lesson, please click on the link in the lower left-hand corner of this screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the link in the lower right-hand corner of this screen.